right, I brought Agnes and Shoma is you. This time around, they did not go alone. They went and go and drag a maker and a kene into the matter. Now, Agnes, let me tell you this. There is no way it is written that Bailey's have some form of spiritual powers to drive away demons and garlic and then salt and lime. You know, you carry salt put inside the plate. You now put lime inside. You put garlic inside and you put bay leaves inside. My dear, those are the new age or old age bullshit witchcraft. It's a way of introducing everybody into witchcraft. Now, a lot of you that do this are mostly Christians. Do you know what the Bible said about herbs? Especially bay leaves and all of these things you guys used to say you are wanding away evil. Now let's read it. Genesis chapter 1 verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding fruit, to you shall it be for meat. No wonder I like the Igbo people. God is really blessing those people. <laughs> they prefer to eat vegetables, you know, the herbs. Eh? They prefer to eat vegetables than meat. Now, Agnes, I know you have already carried Shoma and you are trying to introduce Sarah and Naomi into this whole uh, wand of evil. Let me tell you something. These were leaves that were used by olden days witches. You know, the Bible already said something, witchcraft is bad. Now, when you pick up these things, they are indirectly teaching you to start practicing witchcraft. There is never a place where in the ancient books or holy books where it is said bay leaves and garlic, they are used to wand of evil. We only know that there is only one place you can go to get elements to wound off evil. In fact, no evil spirit, not evil which can, that can stand those elements are elements from the water. We have salt, <laughs> we have seashells, we have the sea water. We have a lot of things that come from the sea that you can use to do what? Wound off evil. And not leaves or herbs that are created to be benefit, head benefit for us. Do you know? That bay leaf is a very special ingredient for casting spells. In the witch world, go and ask them, they will tell you. Bay leaves and garlic, they are very important ingredients in casting spells. <laughs> don't forget lime. Oh, you don't know? A lime seed, <laughs> number one powerful thing. Why do they prefer these herbs and these seeds? Because they have the tendency of doing what? Of giving out aroma so they put the spell inside the aroma and when you perceive it you are already possessed too and that is why one of the things that they don't use in casting spell are things from the water we don't know that witches they run from the sea <laughs> demons and witches they don't want to associate themselves with anything that has to do with water a lot of you will say hey, why is this guy being biased now let's read the bible Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 11, the Bible said, When you enter the land that God, your God is giving you, don't take in the abominable ways of the life of the nations there. Don't you dare sacrifice your son or daughter in fire. Don't practice divination. A lot of you want to meet me. I want to do consultation. You don't know consultation is also divination. <laughs> Sorcery, fortune telling, wish, wishcraft, casting spell, holding sinners, and channeling with the dead. People who do these things are abominable to the Lord. Hmm? You did hear them? So please stay away from bay leaves. Bay leaves does not pursue evil. Rather, it attracts it. Because you've added bay leaf and garlic together, it attracts it. Now let me tell you, if you have ever put these things in your house, I want to tell you some certain things that will be happening in your, in your life. If I'm lying, tell me in the comment below that I'm lying. Number one, people will begin to run away from you. When you have salt, barley, garlic put together, people will naturally run away from you. In fact, people you'll be attracting will be people that are likely to deliver you, spiritual people. <laughs> but not like, you will never stay. Number two, trouble will always engulf you. Even when the money comes, the money comes as though they are sending the message. It comes, it disappears. It comes, it disappears. So please run away from these things they say you should do. The biggest and the most strongest thing you should use in pursuing demons. I mean, water. Water is enough. You don't need any other thing. If you wait, if you want to add more power or you want them to run finally, <laughs> seashells, go to the sea and pick seashells. Um, and my people will tell you that yes, there is power in the seashells, especially calories and all of this. And please, if you live in Naja and you think your problem is becoming too much in your head because the demons are after you, come, I'll take you to the sea. 
they ever come again except they are coming to want to you know what deceive you and to come please run away from bay leaves garlic they are enough for you to eat bay leaves contain vitamin a b c a b yes bay leaves contain that garlic also good for your health it's not good for casting spell though it's spell you are casting and you will go to hell if i told you there's anywhere called hell but you're only adding problem to yourself the moment you add these things to your life you are actually attracting what evil this is a bonus those of you who saved your hearts you carry incense and bone have you ever asked yourself why incense was stopped by god after jesus christ came because incense are now being what reinvented in a certain way you think when you burn incense in your heart evil spirit go away i will talk about incense not today so please amaka eh agnes please stop those things they don't pursue evil rather they attract it